Clippers leading by six. All right now, a chance to set the floor courtesy of Gatorade. Fourth quarter action, all fueled up and ready to go. Setting the floor for the Clippers. Rivers out there with Crawford. Then it's Jordan. Then it's Mbamute. And it's Redick in at the small forward. And for Houston, they're shooting well. They're at 45%. And Beverly kicks to Capella. Here's Ariza. Those three-pointers off the mark. The Clippers shooting has been beyond great up until now. How about 57% from the field overall? Here is Mbamute, and he uses both hands to jam it in. And they can up the ante a little bit there after that basket. I mean, they seem to gain more energy after each made bucket. Let's see if they try to really bust it open here. From the arc. That doesn't go either for Ariza. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Picks it out to Crawford. Gets the three-pointer to fall. The shooting percentage continues to elevate here in the second half. They have come out of the locker room with a real fire and desire to get more high-quality looks at the basket. Another miss by Houston. Total breakdown on defense there, but fortunately, he missed out. And there it is for him. And Baamute has got six points in the quarter. Oh, great ball movement there. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And stolen by Jordan. And Abamute kicks to Reddick. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the three ball. And the Clippers lead by 18. They just can't miss. Everything they put up. Way to work, gentlemen. Let's go now. Hustle up. Party. Scoring on the inside there. I think it's time for him to send a message to his team. Oh, well, they have to become more physical defensively and really commit to protecting that painted area. Raymond Felton, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Paul comes in for Austin Rivers. James Harden, he's checked in for the Rockets. Here's Harden on the win. Ariza outside. Another miss by Houston. Really tough for this group right now, trying anything to stop the run. Oh, well, this is the hard part. Once you give up momentum, very difficult to get it back. Outside, Redick fires the three. The rebound by Harden. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line, they needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Kev, whenever I see Trevor Rees out there, I can't help but think of how he came into the spotlight. He went from being a role player early to becoming a major part of teams after his stint with the Lakers. He said he learned a lot from playing with Kobe. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Beverly, and it's blocked by Jordan. Capello with the bucket. On offense, here are the Clippers. They're on a 14-3 run. All against Beverly. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Capella. Reddick with the rebound. Reddick's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And with the reason, part of his progression was natural. But he knows that he made a huge jump after he played with Kobe in L.A. <laughs> well, I thought his quote about playing against Kobe was great. I mean, he said, the first time I played against Kobe, he scored 40 on me. The last time I guarded him, he scored 35. So I guess I got a little bit better. You know what? Great sense of humor. Just glad to see it. Well, it looked as if he would never find his game after that awful first half start, but he is really hitting his stride in the second. Pops it up for Jordan. Up high to stuff the alley -oop. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley -oop dunk. Harden dishes to Anderson. And the shot is long. Well, they often look to him to provide for them on offense, and he simply isn't getting the job done today. Paul's shot is off. Rockets trail by 18. Here's Beverly. And another three for Houston. 
Uh, and Beverly has wonderful moves and has a great stroke from downtown. Gotta love how he rises up with plenty of confidence. And Capella sends it down. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Houston's gone 2 of 5 on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Tipped away. Here's Felton. Rockets with the rebound. Anderson's got rebound number five here tonight. Ariza kicks to Anderson. Beverly wide open. And Houston again with the bucket. And what confidence from Beverly squaring himself up as the pass was coming his way. So he was ready to fire. And he comes up with the deuce. And that's 15 points for Chris Paul. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Now a timeout called by Houston. And you can tell they're just a little out of sync. I think he just wants to get everybody back on the same page. Yeah, trying to find their rhythm. It's a chess match, a constant back and forth of in-game adjustments. Los Angeles making a switch here. Griffin's checked in. Dishes it to Harden. Wide open. And that one's good. Beverly. Oh, you just love how Harden moves the rock. When a teammate is wide open, he gets it to him so fast. Paul kicks to Griffin. And the three off target. Rockets trail by 15. Beverly, the pass to a reason. Harden right side. Doesn't get it to drop for him. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Paul outside. At the elbow, Griffin, and Griffin slams it in. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in bunches. Harden against Felton. 20 feet out. Here's Capella. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Wow, what a smart play. He recognized the height advantage and went straight to the rack. On the free throw, no good. Wow, and the big man Capella has proven to be a reliable role player, a strong physical presence who takes smart shots and contributes well on deep. Here's Ariza. And the shot falls short this time. It's not winning basketball when you're attempting shots like that. Oh, no, you're right. It's selfish on his part to attempt that. He should have passed it back out and tried to get a better look. It's trailed by 15. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the clip. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And so checking out the record for these guys tonight will mark win number 37 for them on the year. And so they're able to even up the season series at a game apiece with one left to play, exacting a little revenge and really saving face. They did not want to go down 2-0. I mean, when you look at the stats, you'll see just how dominant a game this was for Jordan. His work ethic at the defensive end was incredible. He was contesting every shot he was anywhere near. His block total was impressive, but his impact went way beyond what you could see in the stats. He was in guys' heads out there. Now, Reddick. The rebound by Harden. And sometimes we all just want to show people that we have the range. Yeah, but we all know that he can knock down that outside jump. But he shouldn't be attempting super long shots like that, ever. Man, they came out smoking here from beyond. Well, no one is stepping up and making them beat them off the dribble. Until that happens, they'll continue to burn you from there. Uh, the defense is well aware of how good he is from there and did a great job of forcing that miss. Capella, it's good. The assist that time from Harden. Capella's got it back down to within single digits for Houston. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Reddick is in the corner. It's stolen by Ariza. 
Well, the comeback hopes are out the window now. I think it's safe to say. Disappointing to say the least. They couldn't complete the opportunity to get back into this. They couldn't complete the opportunity to get back into this. And the shot goes in. Oh, nice. Way to work, gentlemen. Let's go now. Hustle up. Eight seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, what do you think? You know, I think he's just trying to send his team a message, you know, not willing to give up on this game just yet. Just trying to instill that fight in this group. Well, it's like a Rubik's Cube. I feel like they've tried a lot of different things all night, but just haven't cracked the code yet. And it's frustrating. <laughs> So Los Angeles takes the win. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. So once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. It Thanks, Kevin. Jamal, how did you guys get this win tonight? good players we have a good coach I mean he put us in good positions to succeed our players play for each other we don't care about who scores and we're a real team yeah there was a lot of flow out there tonight congrats again back to you Kevin all right David thank you and that'll do it folks for David Aldridge Greg Anthony and Chris Weber this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2k sports and now to our good friend Ernie Johnson who is standing by in the studio the 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thanks, Kev. And now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, DeAndre Jordan. Of course he had a double-double. Had guys on their heels the entire night trying to match up with him, but he's just too good. He was just having a ball out there, making big plays up and down the court. It didn't matter who or what defensive scheme was on him. He just took the challenge and gave you the full arsenal tonight. I said for a long time that DeAndre Jordan should be getting a lot more credit, and tonight we saw why. He is capable of completely controlling the paint in any game. And that is a wrap, everybody. Thanks for joining us this evening. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson. See you again soon.